Welcome to Amber's Airline High Hopes, where Amber is currently a flight attendant, though she's having a little bit of difficulty with Karen, who's head of the flight attendants, who doesn't seem to want her to be one. And she's currently working the airplane, or aeroplane, depending on which country you come from. And this is the last scenario in the airplane. Scenario number 40. Thunderstruck. The sky is looking pretty th threatening. Reassure the scared passengers. Also find the mouse and score 2800 to get three stars. Dr. Clark, I didn't know we had a returning hero on board our flight today. Hey Pamela, it's nice to see you. Hey Elise, how are the kids? As exhausting and adorable as ever. And Dr. Clark, you're holding up the line. It's great to see you again too, Amber. Did you get my text? Congrats again on your new job. I'm so happy for you. Yes, the line's getting upset. Well, it's not like I really deserved it. Of course you did. Most people don't do well in tricky situations. But you did. You'll be great at this. comes Karen. Right, is that everyone? Wait for me, I'm coming! Phew, I made it. Amber, this isn't a social call. I know, I know, I didn't realise. It's my fault, I surprised her. I just want to see Amber Hope in action. Well, prepare to be disappointed, I'm not any good at my job. What? Of course you are. How would you know? Well, this little surprise isn't going quite as I'd hoped. Sorry for the hold-up, I'll just take my seat. What the heck was that? You need to calm down, Amber. Yeah, especially when you've got the Bermuda Love Triangle on board here. There's Dr. Clark and David sat together. Oh... Okay, I can't buy anything because, well, basically, there's nothing for me to upgrade. I'm going to cook another one of those, just because, another one of those, just because. why no one else was asking for any kind of service. Oh, okay. This guy wants all the food and drink and stuff, apparently. Let's do some hand signals for you. Put on your life jacket. Smoking is forbidden. The doors are on the sides. Ouch, I've got an itchy nose. Passenger, I meant to reassure by the looks of it. This normal seems like a lot of turbulence. Don't worry, everything is under control. There's the mouse. Hmm. Aha. 
be running around like a maniac right now. Do some hand signals over here. Put on your life jackets. More appropriate than you might know at this point, smoking is still forbidden. And the doors have remained in the same place as they always were on the sides. Burgers. Oh, I need to get you lot out of here. Awesome. hot dog and the thought I might actually need one. Your seatbelt. Time to cook another burger. Yes, you can go to the toilet. Whoa! Okay, time to reassure another passenger. The sky's looking really dark. The sky's jogging in place. Don't worry, ma'am, our pilots are trained for this. Another hot dog. Stop. Yes, you can go back to the toilet. Okay. I've now got all the burgers and hot dogs I can put in one place. so far. I need a restock of this. And I'm short one burger. And it's time to check you lot out. Awesome. It gets me up to two stars. The reason why I try and serve two people at once is you get a 20 point service chain. Oh, bonus. I didn't notice this. This guy over here wanted food. Not looking too happy. Excuse me, miss, is everything okay? It's just some turbulence, ma'am. Everything's going to be all right. Yeah, I see the... Go talk to the man I haven't been paying attention to up to this point. Bathroom. While you're doing that, I'll create another hot dog and another burger. Oh, I need to get to you. Soda over here. Was it going to take both my burgers? 
Hopefully that's the last of the people wanting the burgers. Three stars. Awesome. And that's the end of the shift. Okay, I got the achievement Skyfall. Finish all levels in chapter four. I got three stars. Yeah. I found the mouse. I got the diamond. I've got 900 in cash. This doesn't look good. Wow, it's wild to see a storm from the inside. Ugh, don't say things like that. Let's reassure the passengers and make sure everyone stays seated. Kyle. Hey everybody, this is Kyle, your captain speaking. It looks like we're strolling through a bit of turbulence here, but nothing there's absolutely nothing to worry worry about. Our flight attendants kindly request that you remain seated and calm. We'll pass through the storm shortly. Kyle, we should have steered clear of this. It's fine, you'll see when you have more experience. Storms aren't such a big deal. Kyle, we should change course. You don't trust me either? Guess I'm not surprised after what happened in... We need to take manual control. Copy, I'm on it. Okay, we need to keep everyone calm. You need to keep me calm. Purpose will keep you calm, and your purpose is to help the passengers. Amber's right, let's check with the passengers, make sure everyone's alright. Kyle, it's time to back out, this is too much. He's right, Kyle. Chart an alternative course now. Close call. What the... Kyle, we're falling. It's just some turbulence. Everything will be fine. Amber, could you come here, please? What's going on? Look at the sky. Lightning strike. We should have flown around the storm. The right wing and fuselage have been hit. Brace yourself. We need to take our seats, this is getting rough. But, but, she's right, we're no use to anyone if we get hurt. All right, everyone please stay seated and remain calm. Our plane has been damaged by lightning and we'll need to perform an emergency landing on water. We need you to help yourself before you can help others, Miss Hope. Where is your oxygen mask? Prepare for contact in three, two, one. Oh, and it ends on a nice suspenseful thing. New mini game, medical kit, heal passengers by applying bandages to their injuries. You need to tap once for the bandage to stay on. Okay, looks like I'm going to be on the island next. But before we get to the island, I have a diary entry to deal with. Dear Diary, I'm finally a flight attendant. I thought I was ready, but Karen's been ruthless to me. This past week, she gave me loads of work to do and never missed a chance to criticise. This afternoon, when I tried to talk with Hank, I overheard a conversation he was having with Karen. Turns out she really hates me, and Hank only took me out, of pit out on pity. Or well, took me on out of pity. No one really believes in me, my dream has just crashed. Along with the plane, apparently. 
And I have a load of diamonds to spend, 25 in total. So I will go with the cheapest option, which is the 22, to buy a new decoration. Looks like some kind of movie ticket stub. I can have it in a variety of styles, but I'll go with the original that looks prettiest. Yep. Can't think of anything else to say at this point, so that's where I'm going to end the episode. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you further down the skies for more of Amber's Airline High Hopes. Cheerio!